Thank you so much, Allie. Well, we want to turn to a new study suggesting long-term exposure to chemicals used to make golf courses so lush and green may actually be tied to an increased risk of Parkinson's disease, especially for those living close by. Now, Michigan is home to more than 850 golf courses, so I wanted to dig a little deeper about what this may mean for you and your family. Now, the study was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, and researchers found that people who live within one mile of a golf course have a 126% higher chance of developing Parkinson's. So I turn to a neurologist at Henry Ford, Dr. Isaac Goldzer, who says the pesticides that are used to make those golf courses so lush may be the cause. Now, he notes that the chemicals used to maintain the courses can contaminate groundwater and the air. The closer you were to the golf course, the higher your risk of Parkinson's. And every mile that you live farther away, your risk drops by about 9%. So what should you do if you live near a golf course? Well, first, identify the source of your drinking water. If it's well water, he says, consider switching to an in-home water cooler or filtered drinking water. And then there's always prevention. What would you tell someone who lives within one mile or three miles of a golf course? Don't move your address, move your body. Go for a walk after dinner every day. Walk every day, six, 7,000 steps minimum. Don't live a sedentary lifestyle. That really is the main key. Now, Dr. Golzer says this is not about banning golf courses or scaring families who live near golf courses, but instead it's about raising awareness so we can limit the possible impact of pesticides and allow families to take actions to safeguard their well-being. But if you don't know, then there's right. nothing you can do. So you have to highlight these Absolutely. Types of so water filters, move more, things just to be healthier in general. Without a doubt. Great, great report. Thank you.